Uh, it's going to be an amazingly dramatic loss. Uh, the venue contributes to the London economy upwards towards a billion pounds a year. Um, and with its removal, we've seen already that businesses are having to look at different alternatives, even moving abroad, taking their business to other countries rather than maintaining it within the UK economy at a time when we need as much stimulus as we can. Yesterday's decision will be seen as the end of a chapter for some. For others, it's the start of a fresh battle. The Earth Court project is one of several high-profile projects across the capital, such as King's Cross, Elephant and Castle and Stratford, where private developers are coming in, raising it to the ground and completely changing the feeling of an area. A little earlier on, we spoke to Professor Tony Travers from the London School of Economics, and we asked him what London's going to look like in 20 years' time. They're trying to develop huge numbers of new houses in a city whose population is growing very fast. But also the developers and the developments have to pay for their own infrastructure. They have to pay to improve the area. And so they're having to do several things at once, but particularly revive, regenerate and add housing to a city that needs it very desperately. Reviving and regenerating there. There's no great date for when all this is going to start, but come 2033, the whole of Earl's Court will be unrecognisable. Riz. Emma, thanks very much. Still to come tonight.